Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to talk about um, something that's been bugging me for a little while that I've seen a lot of photographers do when they teach tutorials, in particular when they're photographing people. So let's get into it. Okay, so what am I going on about? Well, um, you may have seen or heard um, on videos that you've watched that show lighting tutorials, that show portrait photography tutorials, um, the photographer refer to the person who's on set as model. Now, yes, that's their role, they're the model. Sometimes it's referred to within the industry as talent. Um, and I know talent can have another meaning elsewhere, depending on context, I get that, but no, nope, not like that. Um, but it's the way that they go about it and they reference that person. I think that, I don't know, it can possibly hurt the rapport building on set. And I think it kind of makes it very cold, as in, I'm the photographer, this is the shoot, this is the tutorial, and here's the model. And it's when they say our model or my model or the model on set. Probably the least worst being the model. Um, subject again a little bit less worse than that um, but I think it's very unpersonal um, and I think really we need to change that and be aware of when we're saying that. Um, now if the person on set has a problem with you using any of their name now you obviously you're probably not going to use their full name and put it out there on the internet people may search etc um, but their first name, if they're not comfortable with that being used, they may work and go by a pseudonym like authors do, uh, many models do as well. You know, actors have done that for years also. So get that in your brain, use the pseudonym. But I think we can at least acknowledge them as the person. So, um, you know, saying welcome and here we are on a lighting tutorial. We're going to compare the size of soft boxes and the quality of light. And on set today, um, who is going to be... Um, the model for this tutorial is Bethany or Bill or whoever, but just reference them, engage them a little bit on the tutorial as well. Um, and I think it feels far warmer um, and better when that's done, rather than referring to them as my model, as our model, because it kind of sounds like you think that you own them. Even though I appreciate that's not going to be the case with a lot of people that do say that out there. Again, not calling people out. Again, not saying that they mean bad by saying that. Um, but I think that we can flip this, engage, talk to them. Use, just, use their first name or their pseudonym rather than it being very, very kind of cold sounding our model and my model. And I think the benefits of this um, is it brings them into the process a bit more. You know, it's more personable, more friendly. Certainly sounds more friendly. Um, but I think psychologically it will help the person on set as well. And they'll feel more valued as a result. If you think about it, when you've got a client on set and you're photographing them, you don't refer to them um, you know, as just my clients. You refer to them by their name, you engage in conversation, you build that rapport. Well, you may not necessarily be on a first name basis at that stage, certainly initially, if they're a high-end CEO, they might like to be called Mr. and Surname or Mrs. and Surname or Miss and Surname. Um, they may have a title that they go by. You have to respect that. Um, but we acknowledge that and we reciprocate that and it builds a rapport and helps settle things down on set as well. So I think I'd like to see people move away from using our model, my model and even subjects um, now, granted, if it's here we are photographing the subject today, which is a bottle, like the bottle's not going <laughs> to be bothered what you call it. Um, but I've been corrected before by calling someone or referring to someone as a subject during a workshop. And it was a uh, model friend of mine, Bethany. And do you know what? Fair enough. Rightly so. Um, we've worked together enough times. Um, she's great at building rapport with the groups uh, that are on the workshops. So just refer to her by her name. She's happy with that and totally called me out on it and I okay fair enough so I think we need to move away from that you know calling them the subject or referring to them as a subject my model our model and just use their first name or their pseudonym 
Um, let me know what you think um, in the comments below. Um, are you in the habit of saying something on set that you kind of catch yourself and go, oh, I wish I didn't say that, or maybe I should th rethink and change what I'm saying, or have you seen others saying things like that and maybe thought, mm, it, it doesn't sound great that. Uh, maybe I'm completely wrong and way off base. You know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's talk about it and I will catch you guys in the next video. Right, I'm going to put the heaters back on because this studio is freezing. Oh my gee. Noisy fans. <laughs>